All right, ladies and gentlemen, Cutco Mike, my knife guy here, yours truly. And uh, I want to talk about this concept that gets brought up a lot, right? Is Cutco too expensive? So many people that own Cutco will say it's too expensive, but they love it, right? Many people from afar have looked into getting Cutco or maybe buying Cutco or maybe you priced out Cutco or maybe you just saw deals or prices and you went, wow, I would never spend that much on knives. Or maybe you had somebody come and do a demo for you, somebody in your family, maybe your son or daughter, or maybe you saw us at a show and you said, who would ever spend that much money on knives? So obviously I am biased, so take this all with a grain of salt. I am a Cutco salesman for 18 plus years, and um, I just wanna give you kind of my honest, feelings about Cutco. Obviously, I'm at a whole different point in my life than where I was when I was brand new. When I was brand new, I borrowed my mom's car. I borrowed $150 to get started. And uh, my mom is an immigrant and my dad was a printer and a maintenance worker. So I didn't come from a lot of money. I just came from hard work and uh, Polish American traditions. So I can relate with just about anybody. So is Cutco too expensive? So I wanna do a little walkthrough of kind of what it is getting a Cutco knife. We're gonna talk about the knife, then we're gonna talk about ways to get Cutco cheaper. So this is gonna be a great informational uh, video too, and uh, maybe I'll make some sense of everything, right? So let's just kind of talk about getting a Cutco knife. So let's say you bought it, you said yes, and we're just gonna talk about one knife. We're not talking about a $3,000 knife set. Even though I truly feel the Beast is the best deal on buying Cutco because you get everything, it's one and done, you rip the Band-Aid off. So here's the first thing, you get a box in the mail that says Cutco Knives Made in America, right? So I know some of you on the group have been posting about some of our pieces are made in China, which is like three things. And if you look at any company, John Deere, Harley, right, some of the more famous brands, Coca-Cola, just about everything to a certain degree, is from overseas, right? So what I love about Cutco is every single knife that we've made since 1949 is 100% American made and they will remain true to that. So we have added products, right? We've made some gadgets that have some rubber. We've made some uh, pieces that are from partnership companies. And uh, I would say to be about 93% American made and 100% American made for our knives, that's a pretty, pretty awesome thing. And I will tell you firsthand, if I found something better that was more American made, was more guaranteed, was more all about the customer, I would be selling it. So just take that to heart. All right, so let's open up this box. So what I love is all the boxes will have that American flag on it, made in America. So if you are gonna send it as a surprise, you might wanna take note that all the boxes say uh, Cutco Knives. And then my dad was in the union. He was in the uh, printer's union and the school district union in Chicago. And many of you are maybe union workers. Rachel's dad's a union electrician. And you know union wages, they fight, right, for higher wages, right? Because they have um, belief that their job and, and their services are of higher value, right? And if you work a trade show, sometimes they charge you like a lot of money just to set up your booth because it's union workers. So what I love um, is we do have some connections to the union, Union Steelworkers of America make Cutco and they've been making it since 1949. So when you get your Cutco knife or your set, but we're just gonna talk about a knife, you open it up. I will say, honest opinion, I love Cutco. You know how much I love Cutco, but I would say, it would be cool to see Cutco maybe step it up with like a black box, maybe some um, some cooler packaging. I mean, you can pay for cooler packaging with our business gifts. We have some awesome gift boxes that have like magnetic pieces and some tin foil. You can also pay to get it gift wrapped. So there is some things that allow for what I would say is a more of a wow factor. But I would say the knife is, in my opinion, a 10 out of 10. Um, overall value, but when you open it up, I would say it's probably about a seven or an eight out of 10, right? You know, you get some, you get some tissue in there and you get your knife. So I would say if there's, there's, you know, I'm just being honest, I'm gonna give you the good, the bad, the ugly. I would say if there's one step above, maybe Cutco 
And we've, we've brought it up to them, maybe make their boxes or their packaging a little nicer. Like if you've ever bought a Louis Vuitton or a Mont Blanc pen, or maybe you bought a really nice handgun, you know, some of the packaging is, is more of a wow factor, right? So I would say Cutco might be lacking just a little bit in the packaging. Well, they do have plastic bags. So back in the day, if you remember, they were wrapped in like almost tissue paper. So let's talk about a Cutco knife here. So a Cutco knife, and we're going to take today's price, but have you heard, there is a price increase coming. So um, this is a Cutco Petite Chef knife. So this is kind of, I would say, the more standard, iconic Cutco knife that you can compare to a German knife, you can compare it to a, a Japanese knife, or you can compare it to a cheap knife that you buy at Harbor Freight. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about every single detail, but the thing that makes this knife, I would say, very, very valuable and worth the money is you have this handle material. This is called ebonite, right? So this this Cutco handle was designed back in the 1940s, late 1940s, to withstand high impacts. So I don't even know if there was dishwashers back then, but it was designed to stand high impact, right? Because if you buy plastic, the plastic will melt or it'll wear out or it'll split apart. And then if you buy wood, it's porous. And then it'll start to kind of get icky. It'll get some bacteria in there. You can't put it in the dishwasher. So cut goes, I would say it's first thing that you feel and grab is the handle. Some people say it's slippery, which it can be if your hands are full of fat or uh, butter or grease. But in most cases, I would say it's a 9 out of 10 for comfort. But once in a while, if you're working with something that's really greasy or really slippery, um, it can be a little slippery. So that would probably be one notch on its score. Uh, but you have this design called a wedge lock handle. So it was designed by Dr. Thomas Lamb, who is like a hand surgeon, a bike specialist, a tennis racket developer. And he designed it after basically every single handle he can come up with. And he said, we want to make a handle that could fit basically somebody with two fingers, a thumb and an index finger, and still be able to cut. And if you've actually ever heard me tell these stories, I've literally met people who said my dad could cut his own food again and my dad could actually use a Cutco knife and, and get dignity at the dinner table. So there is so many like stories behind stories behind stories that make Cutco worth the money. But we're going to kind of dive in and keep going here with you. So if you're just joining me or just watching, we're talking about is Cutco too expensive? And we're going to talk about a little bit of everything. So this knife costs 152 bucks. That's the Cutco price today. And I just did some simple math. Let's say you use it four times a week. That's 50 some weeks in the year. You go on vacation a couple weeks. That's 200 times a year you use this knife to slice with. And we're not talking about a big knife set. I mean, that is 76 cents cost per use, right? And uh, I know with the dollar and everything with inflation has gone up, but for 76 cents cost per use, even if you bought a bunch of groceries at the cheapest grocery store, like Ruler Foods or We Shop at Aldi's, right? And you, you prepped your own meal, you would save money by eating at home, right? Or even just shopping at a cheaper grocery store and using Cutco, you would save money. Um, another thing I want to make a point of is Cutco does all come with free shipping included if it's a regular order, right? Some of our business gift orders, we do add some shipping because they're bigger quantities. But when you buy the knife and you see the price for a me or Cutco, that does include a uh, free ground shipping. So a lot of companies still charge for shipping. So a lot of people don't know that, but that's included into the price. That also includes the packaging and it also includes the... Um, um, so it's packaging, it's shipping, it's tracking, and it's insurance. So God forbid something happened where the knife didn't show up or somebody stole it, we would trace it and we would send you a new piece. So for the cost that you see, you're getting a lot more things that maybe just meet the eye. Um, and then obviously the warranty, right? We haven't even talked about that a whole lot. So every Cutco knife has got a nice uh, stamp there, which is not going to come off unless it's many, many years in the making. You can see that mirror finish, right? So Cutco uses a hollow grind, right? So we use a 440 high carbon surgical grade steel. And sometimes people go, that looks like a micro serration. And uh, it actually is... Um, it is, looks like a micro serration. So let's see if this thing is pretty sharp. Well, not, not too sharp out of the box right there, right? So there you go. So Cutco Mike's not, there you go. He's not, not, not trained to cut paper like food, but I would say out of the box sharpness for cutting paper, it's about an eight out of 10 and I could probably be a little bit better on that. But um, you'll see kind of there is a micro serration and what that is, that's just the way we cut our angle and that angle will stay sharp on average, just normal use, I would say about three years on a smooth edge. And if you compare that, we're not knocking any other brands, but if you compare that to like a nice German or a Japanese knife, 
they do recommend, if you look in their owner's manual, that you actually sharpen before and after every use. I've been to Williams-Sonoma. I've spent 200 bucks on a knife. I've been to all the outlets. And I look. I, I'm a master craftsman of my trade. I wouldn't say I'm a master of knowing all knives. I'm a master of my career with Cutco. But I will say, um, if you're looking for something that's high quality, high, uh, high quality, low maintenance, you go with Cutco. If you're looking for something high quality, maybe layers of forged steel, it's got a cool story. It was made by some guy named Tim Buck Two in the woods in Tennessee. On he, he was smoking a pipe and hammering steel with his uncle. You know, like those are cool stories, right? Maybe you're willing to pay a few hundred bucks for it because it's a cool story. It's a one of a kind. Don't get me wrong. We are designed for the home chef, the mom and the dad who just use a knife, right? Many of you already love Cutco. Many, many of you already believe it. But this is for some of the people that maybe are on the fence or maybe you've like, man, it keeps going up in cost. Uh, is, I'm never going to afford Cutco. We also use nickel silver alloy rivets. Those rivets will never come out. I've never seen a rivet pop out unless it was like some extreme case scenario. Um, and it does have a full tang. So these are all basic terms. Like when you're looking for a knife, it's a full, smooth, flush, full tang. And even cut go goes, I think it's through a 35 point inspection. So if like one of these rivets wasn't flush or the tanks for some reason didn't get perfectly buffed or polished, Cutco will literally send you a brand new knife. And 99% uh, of the time they put it through all those inspections and it gets to you as like a brand new knife. Um, perfect, right? So you got the handle made out of thermal resin, so that's high impact, withstands a dishwasher. Literally, this handle's not changed in 40 years. It had a redesign with the two bump handle that was more brown, and then it had a smooth handle back in the 50s. Um, the steel is American-made 440 high carbon surgical steel, and uh, it does come with this protective cardboard sheath, which they do always recommend you put it properly stored. So about five years ago, Cutco came out with these which uh, for the cost, I would say it's very fairly priced because if you buy any kind of knife sheath, they're about six to 10 bucks. So these are, these are in the 10 to $11 range. So if you didn't like a block, you can pick up one of these for about 10 or 11 bucks. It's got a nice little snapping mechanism. You get your thumb here and you pop it out. So if you ever travel or you just maybe don't want a block or you have extra knives, this is an option. So let's kind of make sense of it again. So a knife like this, 152, you add the cover, you're at about 163 bucks. Use it four times a week, even just to cut something simple, 50 times a year, that's about 75 cents cost per use. It comes with free shipping, free sharpening, free replacements. And if you just take the math over the average cook, you cook from 30 to 60 or from 40 to 70 and maybe a little bit in between, 30 years of average use, it's $5 per year to own a Cutco knife, okay? So I'm just going to kind of make sense of a little bit of my thoughts. My wife loves Starbucks. The only thing I love about Starbucks is their cups to drink water out of it. I'm weird. I just like to drink my water out of a Starbucks cup. Maybe you're like me, but that's what I'll order from Starbucks. It's a free water cup. But my wife will spend six fifty, dollars and now it depends if you're at the airport, 7 bucks on a literally a cup full of sugar water. And some of you are like, Cutco's so expensive. But then I see you on Facebook. You're at Disney, you're at the beach, you're drinking a Starbucks almost every day, right? And I'm not knocking you because my wife's in that same boat, but that's the comparison. It's like, hey, you can drink Folgers every day and enjoy your Folgers. And even Keurig cups, right? You add up the cost of Keurigs, that adds up, right? Just a plastic little Keurig, or you go on the extreme side. But why do people buy Starbucks? Well, it's the experience, right? It's cool, it's, it's trendy. You go into an environment, right? So I'm not knocking Starbucks, but... Ask yourself, like, are you somebody who drinks Starbucks and then you complain about Cutco prices? Maybe that's a little wake-up call. Or if you're like, hey, I only buy used cars, but that's why you keep mechanics in business, right? Or you buy a new car, you pay a little bit more on the front end, and then you get a warranty for five years or 72,000 miles, and then you have no worries, right? So my mechanics that buy a lot of Cutco, I'm not knocking you because we need you and you love me and you love Snap-on and tools and all the above, but that's kind of the analogy, right? You can go cheap and then you'll find yourself keeping my mechanics buying Cutco, right, in the shop. Or you can go with more of a newer car, right, or somebody has passed pre-certified or all these inspections and then you have no worries, no, no, no thoughts, right? Or I'm not trying to say I'm your financial advisor, but you can buy term insurance, right? And, and say, hey, I'm just going to put 50 bucks into this policy and it covers me for 500,000. I don't even know the numbers, but, or I can invest, right, into whole life dividend paying 
wealth making, cash value, life insurance, right? So there's many different ways you can look at life and how you spend your money. And I'm not telling you how, but I'm telling you that I'm a Cutco guy. And I'm gonna tell you that there's some cool ways to get Cutco cheaper, but it is still worth it at full price. Um, or if you're like, hey, I go to QT or I go to Bucky's or I go to Circle K and I get a $1.29 fountain drink every day, add that up, 30 bucks a month, times it by 12, that's almost a cost of four or five Cutco knives. Or you just drink water, right? Or you buy a couple two liters. And obviously we love Disney. I was hired to speak at Disney. We, we will go to Disney. The kids, you know, it's like, there's the thing. It's like, you will go and spend 130 bucks on a ticket for a day of fun and don't get me wrong, it's a great memory. Who doesn't love Disney, right? Everybody after the Super Bowl, they go to Disney. Um, restaurants, right? You complain about Cutco, you complain about how expensive it is, but then you go to the restaurant, you order the $40 steak, you order the bottle of wine. Everything at a restaurant is marked up two to five times the cost of it, right? So I am just kind of trying to bring some logic to all of you to understand that even though Cutco, when you naturally just look at the price, it might feel like, wow, I would never spend that on a knife. You've probably spent a lot of money on things that don't last as long as Cutco. Can I get some amens there? Um, so here's how you get Cutco cheaper. You've been watching me for a few minutes. You're hopefully making sense of it all. Um, you inherit it, right? Let's just say you're never going to buy it, but mom or grandma or grandpa's got Cutco. Butter them up. Tell them you want Cutco, right? I'm going to inherit your Cutco. Put it in the will. Put it in the trust. Have them put it on a Facebook video. Put it on a voice text. That's one way you can get Cutco cheaper or for free is you grow up with Cutco. And I always joke with people when the mom or dad comes up to me at a show and they're like, I am not spending that money on my kids. But then I find out they took them on a cruise. They took them to Europe. They give them cash money all day long. So I say you should give it to them before you die because that's kind of morbid but you can inherit Cutco. If you want, I'm not telling you to go do it, but if you want, you can literally go on eBay right now and find old brown handle Cutco. You can find somebody who is a rep or a customer that's selling Cutco and it's about 20 to 40% off. Maybe you get it at a crazy deal and then you send it into Cutco and get it refurbished, resharpened. It might not be brand new. It might have some dings and bings, but the warranty will get you Cutco for cheaper, right? If you're looking at new stuff or a set or certain items, always reach out to me because I will match or beat or honor a brand new price. And I always say be careful because I've had customers burned because yes, there is scammers out there. Ask me, ask me, ask me my opinion. Say, Mike, is this a good deal? I love when somebody says, Mike, I, I'm kind of wanting this. Is this a good deal? And then I'll look at it and go, you know what? I can't beat that. Or that's a unicorn, buy it. Or I'll go, hey, if you're not buying it, I'm buying it. Or I'll say, hey, I would just be a little cautious because this person kind of looks sketchy and I can actually get you almost brand new for just a little bit more. So eBay is one way. I don't like, I don't sell on eBay or I'd be fired, but I will say this, if you're like, I'm never gonna buy a Cutco, um, that's one option. Um, another option is Costco, right? So I did a long video on this about a year and a half ago. Many of you met me um, because you bought Cutco at Costco or maybe you bought from me and then you saw Cutco at Costco. Cutco at Costco is exclusive um, for certain items, but they don't have the full catalog, but they do have a 20 to 30% discount on certain things. So that's one way to get Cutco cheaper. I will say this again, I match, beat, and always go above and beyond um, because this is how I make a living. So I'm just kind of stating some ways you can find Cutco for cheaper than its true value, right? And obviously it's worth it at full price. Auctions. I deal with farmers all the time. I got my Iowa shirt on here. They go to auctions. They go to flea markets. They go to storage closets. They go on different sites and they look for Cutco because they know what that handle looks like, right? So I will say this. Maybe you you don't want to buy for whatever reason. I hope to earn your business someday and I'm in it for the long haul. Maybe you get a piece at eBay, you fall in love with it, then you come back around and buy a whole set. Maybe you buy a knife at Costco because you're there. You're like, I'm in the moment. I just spent 600 bucks that I didn't plan on doing it. Let me throw a knife in my cart. By all means, your money, spend it however you want. But auctions, you go to farm auctions, you go to um, house auctions, you might score Cutco. I always look because you never know 
when you're going to find something. Antique malls. I love going through antique malls because I look for old baseball cards. I like teaching my kids. So I'm like, look at those old toys that daddy grew up on. And I like learning history. But if you go to antique malls, you can see Cutco. It's very rare. You can find old cookbooks. That's a great way to get some Cutco cookbooks. Um, but if you find Cutco at antique mall, sometimes... You know, sometimes antiquers will kind of raise the price a little bit because they kind of know what it's worth because they're Googling certain things. But you might get Cutco um, at a decent deal or you might be able to negotiate. Um, Goodwill, I've never scored anything at Goodwill, but once in a while, I'll go on shopgoodwill.com. You'll see Cutco pop up there. I'm usually looking for unicorns, but that's another way you can find Cutco for cheaper, right? And obviously, I'm your rep. I'm here to help you. I'm here to service you. That's how I feed the kids. I pay the bills, give away Cutco, but I'm just going to give you everything I know, guys. I want to make sure you're armed and ready and you feel confident with me and Cutco. Here's another one. You can win it, right? I give away more Cutco than anybody on the face of this planet because I believe in the giver's gain. I, I believe that God's blessed me. I want to bless you, the law of reciprocity. So I do almost a giveaway every week. So if you're not liking and commenting and you're not getting all my notifications, you're missing out. And if you're sitting on the couch and you're saying, I never win, well, guess what? You reap what you sow, you eat what you believe, you pack your own lunch, it, you gotta have a chip in a chair. All it takes is a like and a comment and a picture taken on some of my giveaways. So, and I will tell you this, if you stop playing, you're gonna stop winning. So get in all my contests, get your family in all my contests. The reason why a lot of those people, like the Holtzmans, like the Giglios, like, uh, I can't even think, but there's a lot of you, the Fasics, they end up winning a lot is because they play every contest and they have four or five family members, Sue Bath and the family of like 18 kids. They always end up winning because there's like 18 of the kids they are always playing. So guys, I will tell you this, always enter, always play the contest, always do the giveaways. So if you're just joining me, you might want to go back and watch some of the beginning because we're kind of halfway through, but we're talking about ways to get Cutco for cheaper and is Cutco worth it and is Cutco too expensive? Um, you can always get Cutco at a better deal than a rep, from a rep, because a rep is full commission. We make full commission. So I don't, I don't set Cutco prices. Like Cutco says, here's what it's worth. Here's what they are selling it for. Here's what it costs to make it. Here's how we're going to honor our forever guarantee. And here's how much commission you make. I make 99%. So I give back 1% to Cutco just to say thank you. God bless you. I love you guys. No, I don't make 99%. Or I wouldn't be doing these groups. I wouldn't be at shows every weekend. I would be literally with my kids playing baseball in the yard every single day and give my wife freedom. I make a good amount of money. I make 30%. I earn some bonuses. But guess what? Most of my deals are 30% off. Or I throw in the farm, the animals. I throw in the land. I throw in the tractor. So guys... I'm not rich. I would say I'm rich on a worldly standard, right? For the money I make, for how hard I work, on a worldly standard compared to every single human in this world, I would say I'm rich. But I know all of it could be gone in any second. But a rep could give you a deal, right? I would love to be a rep. Maybe you're on this group and you're a rep. Or you're like, I'm on this group. I don't know how, but I have a rep because he's next door or down the street. Call your rep, ask your rep, ask me. I need a deal. I want a deal. And be honest, but also be understanding, right? Don't be silly and say, hey, I want 50% off. It's not going to happen. But maybe you can wheel and deal a little bit. Um, work for it. Honestly, I've hired people to earn free cut go. I don't have jobs like, um, you know, like a thousand jobs, but once in a while I say, hey, could you help me with this? Hey, are you into print? Hey, could you make this, embroider this? Help me with this. I, I, I don't want like 18 people messaging me like, hey, how can I work for free Cutco unless you want to babysit four kids and you're trained nanny and a uh, uh, retired school teacher. We might have a job for you. But um, you can work for it. What, what else does that mean? You can sell Cutco. I will say you start off at 10%. You got to start off with your own family and friends. So it's not like a, uh, a high signing bonus, but you can sell Cutco and earn Cutco for cheaper or get your commission back. Um, let me see here. Cutco stores, right? So Cutco stores, there's about 11 Cutco stores. We got one in St. Louis. There's one in Indy. There's one in Austin. And I forget where the other ones are. Michigan, Detroit. If you live in an area where there's a Cutco store, pop in there. The Cutco Visitor Center. Sometimes they do cooking classes and they give you a free item for showing up because they want to sell you something. So 
I will say this. If you're going to go to the store and buy a bunch of stuff, come to me because I make better deals in the store because it's corporately owned. So they have certain deals they offer. But Cutco stores sometimes gives away free stuff. And it's just cool to go check out because they offer other things that I don't. Like some cool bakeware, some salt and pepper shakers, some jam from Amish country. Um, Cutco website. So Cutco website offers raffles and deals. Cutco social media accounts, my social media, my website. Right now on my website, there's bonus gifts. So if you're like, how do I get Cutco cheaper? I just gave you a list of about 10 to 15 ideas to get Cutco cheaper. So all in all, guys, yes, if you just look at the price of a Cutco knife, it can feel expensive, right? Just like when I go into Starbucks and go, you're paying $7 for what? But then my wife posts a picture of her drink. She feels more special. It hits the spot. It wakes her up. The kids have more energy because mom has more energy. Um, I forget about the $7 because it was the experience. But what I do know is this. When you buy one of these Cutco knives and you need it sharpened, service, fix, replace, no questions asked, you message me. And every single day I'm dealing with somebody. Hey, Mike, my knife broke. And I will say this, I can make 90% 90 of you happy. Once in a while, I might not make you happy because there's certain things I can't do. But this person sent me a knife that said, hey, the tip is broke. I said, hey, tell you what, I'm going to send you a new pairing knife. Send me back this one, and we're going we're gonna to just send this back to the factory. Let's say you melt it. You leave it in the um, dishwasher. You leave it in the oven. That's all covered. So, guys... When we announce these price increases, it's not to lose customers. It's to keep customers. We want to stay in business for another 50 years. So to stay in business, we have to stay with the times, right? We have to stay with inflation. We have to pay those union wages. We have to stay with the forever guarantee. We have to pay our reps like Cutco Mike well to keep them excited, to keep them out there working hard. So I will say this. Look at a price increase as a way to get Cutco, as a way to buy your kids Cutco, as a way to get started with Cutco. Because as you wait, Cutco will not be cheaper later. Cutco was cheaper yesterday, right? Because when you buy one of these knives, oh, and that was one of my other points, it's cheaper to buy it right now because in 10 years, this knife will probably be a $200 chef knife, if not more. So just by sheer owning Cutco, it will go up in value. So when you pass it down to your kids, they will inherit it at a higher price point of what you paid for it. So all in all, I would love to win your business. I would love to reassure your wording in your uh, comments if you ever are concerned. And, um, and if you ever have any questions, you can always reach me, 314-541-4471. And uh, like I said, I literally have a story for anything and everything 25,000 customers, $7.5 million sold, um, 19 years coming up in August selling it. So um, that's it. That's my video. If you're just joining me, feel free to watch it again. Comment, reach out, and uh, let me know if you learned something. Take care, everybody. And uh, don't forget to get into my NFL, my knife guy, eighth annual football pool. Um, I'm giving away four pairs of scissors. And uh, it's a lot of fun. You pick some teams. You just go with your guesses. You ride your home team. You ride your favorite team or you root against the team you hate. Um, but it's free. It's another giveaway. And i uh, love for all you to join. Take care. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.